Well hi folks, it's the 10th of June now, so I'll just give you a bit of an update on the plot and as you can see, we've had so much rain lately, it's really made things grow more, more so than the sun did So, and it has been a bit sunny but it's just the rain, it's absolutely thrown it down and everything's really flying along now so eventually we've got a bit of growth so as you can see my peas are flying now, they're about 18 inches tall now and starting to grab hold of the support and climb up a bit these are the leeks I transplanted last week. I did a video on that, so... Anyway, and this is the kale. It's just about ready to start picking a few leaves, I think, now. They're big enough to uh, survive a few leaves being taken off them, and they're doing well. I mean, they love rain as well, so... And this is a new thing I started this year. These are the shallots from seed, where you just grow one shallot from one plant. So, I'll just try and give you a size. They're quite big, they're nearly as big as my onion, so... They've been quite a success so far, so whether they bulb up is a different matter. And my lettuces now, they're really flying again with the rain, so they're just about ready to be thinned out. I'll take some, they're about half grown now, but I'll take the ones, every other one out and eat it as a small lettuce. We've got a new variety called, I think it's called Lettany, really frizzy type apparently. And then just a normal salad, you know what they call, uh, cost lettuce, you know, what they, little gem, that's it. Then a beetroot, they're starting to slowly grow along. And then a few spring onions, they're always really slow outside, I don't know why. I've grown some at home in pots and they're ready to eat now, so... Garlic, some late garlic that I sowed, not sowed, but planted in sort of March time, end of March. That's all through now and doing really well, so... And these are the strange things for me. This is the broccoli I grew, and it started putting a head out really, really early. And I thought that was it, it'd go to seed and go to flower, but it's still growing, the heads are still growing, even though the plants are only about, they're not more than about 12 inches across, so, like I say, they've all got heads on. So they should be ready to take in a week or so, if they don't uh, blow to seed. A few more Brussels sprouts in there for later on. I planted a couple of squashes in there, I don't know whether you can see it, I've just put that over to keep the wind down, because it has been windy. So that's the first bed outside. I managed to get all of some uh, watercress, proper watercress, not the mustard crest and the uh, American land crest, but the actual watercress. And all it said was to just absolutely flood the container. You can't overwater it, obviously. So it's looking quite good. I might pick a bit of that in a bit, actually, and give it a try. So we're going to the polytunnel. It's absolutely roasting in here because the sun's just been out, and it's quite tropical. If you can see, starting to get a few strawberries on now, and these are just from those little bare-rooted plants I planted about, well, only a few weeks ago, it's just little insignificant bits of root with a few leaves on, and I can't believe how they've uh, flown along. And then this is <laughs> my new one for this year, I'm growing some tobacco, I want to grow my own cigar, and look at the size of those leaves, never seen anything like it, I've got one there, and one in another pot, so it loves the conditions. And we're climbing French beans, they're climbing up now. They're about four feet up. Then again, because it's been so humid, the old courgette's flying along now, it's put some big leaves out. And I've got the first little tiny immature courgettes on. A couple of cucumbers in there, a bit of uh, coriander. And that's my big onion that I, I got from my uh, championship winning onion last year. And I'm trying to get some seed out of it. I've got all the big seed heads on. So I'm just waiting for those to open and for the bees and bumblebees and things to start to pollinate them. And these are some big onions that I got from the Peter Glazebrook strain. He who who brought the world record last year and they're actually apparently from his same batch of seed that he did it with. Not that I'm going to get anywhere near that but uh, I've got some in big 60 litre pots there. And they're doing alright slowly enough. They'll be growing till about October hopefully so We'll see how big we get. And these are my show carrots in the sand, growing in sand, in tubes of compost in sand. And they're absolutely flying along in here, so... There's another two of those big onions there. And these are my smaller show onions, and the kelsies, the small kelsies for the three pound class. They've started to pick up a bit. I'll just look over the way at the... They're my big ones, look at them crackers. My big show kelsies. I'm hoping to get those to about £6 by 
by August and there are some real beauties there. I've never grown them as well as that before so they're getting for four or five feet tall the leaves now so we will see. There's still plenty of time for it all to go wrong. So that's about it in the tunnel at the moment. And finally my flowers are starting to come out on my poppies and stuff. They are some cracking things, they're just idiot proof, I just leave them, they're all perennials and they just come year on year on year. And when they're all out it's hell of a show like, because there's plenty of heads, loads of heads on them. I mean look at them, there's absolutely hundreds of heads and when they're all out at the same time it is quite spectacular. Not that I'm a big flower bloke but uh, it does add a, add a bit of colour. But I'm all over the place. Yeah. So you can see they're all, everything's starting to come out now, the different bits and pieces. These are me, some of my show potatoes I'm growing in bags. Well, there's some more over here actually. In the bags that are buried in the soil so the roots grow through the holes. So they're all up and, up and running now. And these are some of my shallots. Starting to split nicely into the bulbs. I planted these really early. I planted these in um, January time inside. So that's why they're so far advanced. So they're doing alright. So I wander over to my carrot and parsnip bit. These are my giant parsnips and carrots and stuff and growing in barrels and they're starting to perk up again with the, with the rain we've had. But they are quite a, a way behind last year but there's plenty of time yet. I'll just have a wander over to my last bit, on my second bit. And this bit's really taken off, never seen anything like it. These are just me eating spuds in the pots and you can hardly see the pots now because the tops have just grown amazingly. So. Loads of different varieties in there, from Red Duke of York to Salad Blue, to all sorts of different ones I'm trying this year, so be interesting to see how they get on. These are just my normal eating onions, some red ones and the, the normal ones. And then another big load of shallots there. Still doing really well, they won't be ready, well, sorry, they will be ready to pull in about, I would say, two weeks, because if you leave them too long they start to split again and then you get like split bulbs and they don't store very well, so... And these are the overwintering onions, they're starting to bulb up now, so I planted these sort of October last year and overwintered them and they're just, they're just taken off now. And then this is the garlic, we've got lots of different garlics in there, trying some big varieties, solent white and things like that. And as you can see they're absolutely huge plants, massive leaves on them, so whether the leaves are any indication of how big the bulb is we'll have to see. And this is where I'm growing the giant pumpkins. You probably can't see anything actually because I've covered them up with a big windbreak now because it's outgrown its house. It's about to there now, the leaves. Massive one. I might be able to show you this one. It's not quite outgrown its house yet, its polythene house. But they are growing, so it's not a bad start. I'll just nip back over again. And then I've got some more in here. This is the giant marrow that I got from a big a big plant. That's really going now, that's travelling. That's about five foot long now. So all the marrows and pumpkins, I've managed to keep the frost off them earlier on and they seem to be thriving now. So I've got some more potatoes there, another marrow under there, some more shallots in there, all sorts of things. And these are those giant uh, swedes I managed to get. They're absolutely huge, they're just growing and growing and growing and they've got, if I can just get in and show you, they've actually got Swedes on, well you can't see actually. Well that's from a 90 pound Swede, I just threw it for a laugh, so we'll see how we get on with that. So, another pumpkin in there, that's me, from a 1500 pound pumpkin, still under its protection. So, as I say, the warmth, the bit of warmth we had, the heat wave and all the rain we've had lately has really perked things up so, like I say, finally things are starting to grow. So that's about it at the moment. See you later.